So based on some claims on the internet right now, I wanted to take a look into uh, Snipe and its uh, mechanics. So in its basic form, Snipe is a channeling skill. If you attack with it, you will channel uh, a number of stages uh, that you can release. One of the claims I've seen is that um, the first stage of Snipe channels twice as fast as the other stages which I think is probably true. I haven't uh, tested it myself, but I am assuming that it's true. Other claims that I've seen is that the, uh, the base attack speed is way higher than it actually is. And basically people think that the base attack speed to reach the first stage is exactly what the gem claims. It's a 1.8 multiplier, but I'm pretty sure that it's not. So let's say we, uh, use lightning arrow and we fire it as fast as possible and this is the attack rate I get. Now in my setup right now, I will explain it further soon. When I charge up my snipe, I will have enough mana for the first stage, but I will not have enough mana for the second stage. So what will happen is that I will release the first stage and never charge up the second when I hold down my, my right click. So what I get is this, and I would say that this is definitely faster than Lightning Arrow, but I don't think it's 80% or potentially 3.6 times faster. It's way less than that. And it turns out, just calculating the number of arrows I can fire in 10 seconds compared to Lightning Arrow, it seems like the base attack for the first stage is only 1.22. And so... I don't know what this 180% comes from, but even if I manually try to fire it as fast as possible, I cannot get it faster than 22%. Uh, so this uh, mana regen starving setup seems to be giving me the fastest possible attack speed I can get with Snipe. And so if you want to set this up yourself, what you need to think of is that this, uh, the mana region that you have needs to be less than what it costs to uh, fire two arrows, but be more than one. So in order to calculate that, you, you cannot rely on the attack time that you see on Snipe itself, because I'm pretty sure that it's lying or misleading at best. Uh, what you need to do is you would have to look at the attack speed of your lightning arrow, which has a one multiplier. In this case, it's roughly 2.5 per second. I would multiply that by 1.22, which I claim is the uh, actual attack speed for the first stage of Snipe, and then multiply that by the mana cost. So the math is your mana region needs to be above 1.22, base attack rate that you have with, say, Lightning Arrow and the mana cost, and be below twice that. And then you'll be just fine. Which means that if I use Snipe, in this case, even if I reduce my mana region, I will attack just as fast. So as long as I'm within these limits, this uh, mana starving mechanic actually works. Uh, if you're below this limit, then your, your attack speed is going to suffer because of mana issues. And if you're above this limit, then you're just going to start channeling. So this attack speed multiplier that I found out actually kind of only works on my setup because you also have to take into consideration that there is a 0 0.05 second cooldown if you use it as a support, uh, which you will probably do, right? But you can use 22% as a baseline and increase and decrease your mana region from there and see where your thresholds are. So now, how would you use uh, Snipe with this setup? So if I would uh, socket Lightning Arrow, when I use Snipe, it's going to trigger Lightning Arrow. And so that basically means that my Lightning Arrow right now has a base attack speed of 1.22 instead of not having a multiplier at all. So you can notice that this is slightly faster than this, right? More interestingly though, since Burning Arrow has a 70% attack speed base, Snipe kind of overrides that so that uh, you will shoot your burning arrow just as fast as you do the lightning arrows. And just to compare, you can see that it's it's actually significantly faster, right? 
almost double. What this means is that if you snipe as a support at level 20, the gem has a less damage multiplier and a more damage multiplier for every stage. So for the first stage, you are going to get 40% less damage and 108% uh, more. Counting for the increased attack speed, you end up with a 46% more damage multiplier. Similarly with Burning Arrow or Puncture, which has a base attack speed of 0 0.7, you're going to end up effectively 109% more damage multiplier, which is actually significant. Now the downsides with this setup is that for your triggered skill, you cannot use Trinity because Trinity simply cannot support triggered jumps. If you're running Lightning Arrow, you're probably going to want to run Trinity because Trinity has a 50% damage multiplier. And so I don't see any reason why you would want to use Snipe as a support in this case. But if you're using Burning Arrow or Puncture for whatever reason, and you're not planning to use Trinity, then Snipe can be a pretty good support in this case. Now, there is another downside to using this setup, and that is like if you're mapping, you're probably going to be running around, doing a single shot, and then running some more. Now, if you have Snipe and you do that, you are My mana is gone. not going to fire anything if you just click in. You need to make sure that you hold down long enough for the uh, first stage to trigger. Otherwise, it will do nothing. And the obvious downside is, of course, you need to manage your regen rate so that it is between these two thresholds that I have shown before. Which actually isn't that difficult. Right now I have a base attack speed with lightning hour at around 2.5. And I only need 30 something percent. So that's like a suffix. That's all I need to make sure that I am between these thresholds. I think the biggest issue is that if I were to uh, increase my available mana to 5. The skill costs 4. Now, all of a sudden, with the same setup, I'm going to start charging. Because in this scenario, I only need to regen uh, 3 mana instead of 4 to get to the second stage. And then it will just, for whatever reason, continuously charge. Another thing to note is that since you have a pretty big window of opportunity here, where uh, your mana regen is just fine, it is actually possible to still uh, use conditional modifiers like Berserk, Tailwind, and Onslaught. Because you're going to stay within this bounds. So, so with my setups, if I were to allocate uh, Gathering Winds, which gives me Tailwind, and conditionally more effective Tailwind, so that I have uh, 8 to 20 percent more attack speed, with the same setup, Snipe is just gonna work. I'm just gonna fire off the the first stage faster and faster as I g gather more wins, basically, and I can even I can even equip my my Silver Flask to get onslaught. And I could probably get Berserk as well, and it will be just fine. Another thing to note as well is that Scourge Arrow works the same way as Snipe. So everything I've been discussing right now also works with uh, Scourge. Except that Scourge is ever so slightly faster than, uh, than Snipe. 